Since 1986, Tittman has produced some of the highest performing markers and accessories in the paintball industry. This Fort Wayne, Indiana based company opened their doors to give us an exclusive look inside their headquarters and manufacturing facilities. I think what made uh, Tittman uh, famous was they produced what I always term uh, the Chevy truck of paintball. And by that, what I mean is, is it's not the Ferrari, it's, these are not thousand hour, two thousand hour guns, but it's not the Yugo. It's a Chevy truck, it's the workhorse ones, it's the ones that everybody uses. If you talk to almost anybody that starts in paintball, almost all of them says, my first gun was a Tittman. Before a majority of the markers are assembled at Tittman, a local die cast plant begins the manufacturing process by generating a solid aluminum shell. Over 1,000 degrees is required to melt down the rugged aluminum used in the components of some of the Tittman markers. Once the aluminum is in liquid form, a ceramic bowl fills the mold and the process of creating a marker shell has begun. The craftsmen complete a final stage to prepare the shell for internal components and paint. Upon completion, the order is trucked to Tittman. All right, uh, we're inside internal CNC here at Tittman. Uh, within this facility, we make a lot of our own parts. Some of the most complicated or uh, difficult or expensive parts uh, used within the Tittman products are made here. Once all the components are prepared, the marker assembly begins. This is the main production floor. Okay. Uh, this is the area in which we're assembling guns. Okay. So for the most part, we either make some components in-house or we buy a whole bunch of the components, all the plastics we buy, die castings we buy, all of those pieces come together in this room in which we're assembling the guns. It's our goal that if a gun comes into us and needs repaired, it gets turned around in 24 hours and back to the player. We do not want a player to be sitting without a gun. Um, and of course, the gun has to work and work correctly. Uh, this is the shooting range. Um, within uh, this room, we do uh, live testing, live firing of the guns. And in addition to that live firing and that live testing, we do life cycle testing, which is what's going on behind me right now. There's an A5 in there, it's being set up on a machine that cycles the gun over and over and over. It's our standard that a gun has to be able to survive 100,000 shots. If a gun can't survive 100,000 shots, it doesn't meet the Tippman standard, we've got to go back and do some more work on that. That's not a good enough gun to go to market. We do an enormous amount of pre-planning and testing of our product to assure that you don't need to have a great service uh, group to take care of it because the gun's not going to break. Tittman continues to expand their product offerings into new categories for every type of player around the world. 